Hello and welcome this evening to a really important event at Alec Mowers. For the first time we're showing you what we've been working on for the last two years and it's a new higher level mower for the homeowner uh, that is really enthusiastic about their lawns and also for uh, amateur cricket clubs and bowling greens. The product is called the Sterling and we have it in two widths, 43 centimetre and 51 centimetres and I'm going to be unveiling these in just a minute. Why have we called it the Sterling? Because of the heritage of Allet and our tradition of naming our products after British castles and palaces. Of course, this is named after Stirling Castle in Scotland. So I'm going to unveil these products now. Uh, for the first time tomorrow, they'll be shown in the flesh at the Saltex exhibition and we're going to be really proud to show everybody really in the flesh so they can touch and feel these products and see why we are so excited about this new product range. So, here goes. You will understand that by the end of this video why we're so excited about these two products, the Sterling 43 and 51. Five years ago we launched our first homeowner battery driven mower and that Liberty product has become our biggest selling product of all. And of course a lot of that is driven by this battery power. At Allet we really believe that battery power is just so appropriate for cylinder mowing and this You'll see why, with this product, we're taking that to a new level. Battery strategy for Alec mowers is that we believe by 2025, not that we will stop making petrol mowers, but we just think our customers are going to really understand the benefits that battery brings. Uh, we're talking about the environment. I, I don't need to say too much about that, but by not using petrol engines and having to run petrol around the country in order to be able to drive our lawn mowers is certainly a big benefit. But our customers are loving the benefits that battery brings to cylinder mowing. They're quiet, they're really so much easier to use altogether. Uh, they're so much more controllable and with this Sterling range, we've brought our electric drive to a very new level. But it, it will be very clear for you to see when we look at the product video later what this battery has brought uh, to this new heavier duty, more controllable and more precise lawnmower. Our customers have been asking us for many things on our products, of course as they should, but I need you to know that we listen to you really, really carefully. So we have here what we consider to be a really affordable but highly precise a mower which cuts precisely but also lays down some of the strongest stripes that you will ever see. It's an affordable mower though for lawn fanatics so it really is a new level of pricing uh, but also of features as you would expect. We have things that our customers have been asking us for like lighter grass boxes that empty easier. We've got um, a bigger battery mower in this 20 inch or 51 centimetre wide machine because so far we've only had the, our biggest mower has been 17 inches wide. Now we have 20 inches wide. Uh, we uh, have much more quick and more accurate height of cut with uh, gauging on the side so that you know exactly what height of cut you're working at. Uh, we have more power than we've ever had before, two separate motors, one driving the rear roller and one driving the cylinder. And that extra power has allowed us to deliver uh, greater grass cutting ability, but also more importantly, when we put these cartridges into the machine, then we can get deeper cultivation depths if we really want them. We're using an Ego battery system uh, on this product as well. We've been working in partnership with Ego, both on our handlebars and also on our power drive system as well, giving us more power, a wider range of batteries as well to give us, if we need, much higher mowing uh, times uh, and areas, if that's what you need. 
The handlebar set is just giving us much greater levels of, of comfort and control of the product as well and we separately control the cylinder drive and the rear roller drive. You don't need to have the roller, uh, you don't need to have the cylinder driving uh, in order to drive the rear roller which again gives greater levels of safety while we're wheeling this around the garden. And probably the biggest feature that our customers have always asked us for is about the cartridge changes. We have some new cartridges and some cartridges which are exist, uh, that, that are already existing and those cartridges will now insert and remove from this mower in about 15 seconds and we don't need any tools whatsoever and we don't need to remove the side guard. This is really useful in the garden because you now no longer have to consider whether you want to verticut an area quickly, whether, you want, whether you've got the tool and everything else. You just change the cartridges over so quickly. So what I want to do now is I want to direct you to, uh, and we'll, we'll be adding on now, the, the video that we've already shot for our product launch and also for the product features. So, over to the video now. Thanks for watching our video. Today we're going to be introducing you to the Allet Sterling 43 and 51. This is about the highest level of mowing for the home lawn, but also for bowling greens and for cricket wickets. This is not just about lawn mowing, but this is about lawn maintenance systems. And we will be talking about that in more detail. So hello, my name's Austin Jarrett and I'm from Allet Mowers. These two mowers are for the absolute lawn enthusiast, where no compromise is actually the only option. Where battery power is really important, we'll talk about the environmental benefits of doing that, uh, and where cultivations are done very regularly on your lawn and we can get a really quick cartridge change to go from cylinder mowing to verticutting and all of these other functions in less than 15 seconds. And that means that I could be mowing and then verticutting in no time at all and it really isn't a chore to switch from mowing to cultivations. You're also able to go for deeper cultivations within this mowing and cultivation system than we've ever been able to do before. And that is really important again for the absolute lawn enthusiast that really knows what he's doing. By using these cultivation systems, we're so much more able to maintain a high quality lawn without the use of a lot of chemicals, especially when it comes to weed control. Of course you've got to remember that cylinder mowing is absolutely the best way to maintain a lawn. It really is this scissor cut that we get from the cylinder mower which creates the best possible chance for the plant to be as healthy as possible and that is absolutely proven and that is why you use cylinder mowers on golf courses and sports surfaces rather than the machete action of a rotary mower. We have a video on that for the comparison of cylinder versus rotary mower and you do need to have a look at that if, you, if you're not quite sure what it is that I'm talking about. But that, that video should be really helpful to help you make the choice and to whether cylinder mowing is what you really want to do. The cartridges are the big thing on this product. Allet are known for the cartridges and if you want a great lawn you need to do more than cylinder mow and that's why we have this range of cartridges which are so easily inserted into this product in particular to be able to give us uh, just the most amazing lawn over time. The other thing is when we designed this product we said the customers that have already invested within our system here and have bought either a Liberty 43, a Kensington 17 or a Kensington 20 and you've invested in this cartridge range, you will be able to at a small charge just to make a little bit of a conversion on your existing cartridge and then it will fit into this product uh, and give you the great results that you're used to. And you'll get the benefits of the depths that this 
product will be able to deliver. So we're hoping that those of you that have already invested in, in our premium products will be able to invest in this, but not have to spend all the money on the new cartridges. So we, we hope that really helps. The two products, the Sterling 51 is a 20 inch machine or 51 centimeters. The Sterling 43, as you would expect, 43 centimeters and 17 inches. The weights are with batteries, with grass boxes, 57 kilos and also 53 kilos. So these machines have good weights and of course that is so important for getting the really great striping. This is not a machine that you're going to pick up easily to go up and down steps, uh, but what you are able to do is you can reduce very quickly 13 kilograms by removing the battery, removing the cartridge, and then that makes that much more easy to move around if you want to do that because the cartridge is so quickly and easily removable, then uh, that, that isn't a problem, but just bear that in mind. If we start at the very front of the machine, you'll notice uh, that we have change the way that we are manufacturing the grass box. Uh, we hear a lot from customers that they want a lighter grass box so you're not having to carry all that weight around to empty it into the wheelie bin or wherever. So we've reduced the weight. It's a steel frame and material. The material's got apertures in it so it allows air throw and we're getting much better grass box fill by using this because the air is separated out and doesn't blow back out of the grass box in the same way as it does out of a plastic or metal construction. It's also very quiet. Some of our competitors use metal grass boxes which rattle and drum as you mow and increase the noise levels. And because we're using electric drive, all of these noise things we needed to knock off to make sure that we got the quietest possible mower. So we're getting great grass box fill like we've never achieved before. And this just clips directly onto the chassis of the mower and there's no grass box hoop or anything separate from that. And it's really, really stable. For emptying, there's no lips around the grass box here, so the grass box can empty, even if it's at its fullest, straight out into the wheelie bin. And that's no shaking, which is great. If we start at the front of the mower and work our way backwards, then of course the very front is the roller. On the roller, we have a steel roller, galvanized for rust protection and we've also got a scraper. So the reason for the scraper is if particularly you're building up a worm cast it starts to alter your height of cut. So by having setting the scraper down uh, in these two slots here I can set my scraping so that that doesn't happen. Uh, if it's starting to become a problem and a lot of the time of the year I don't need that scraper, that scraper is really easily removed. Behind the scraper is a feature that a lot of Alec customers really enjoy, and that is the lawn comb. The lawn comb rakes through the grass as you're mowing. You can independently set the depth at which it rakes. That lines up all the grass, and that gives two advantages. One, I get a nicer, cleaner cut because the grass is presented to the bottom blade so much more neatly, but also striping is all about having the plants all nicely lined up so that as you roll them down, they're rolling directly away from you or directly towards you. So it does help in the striping and how long that stripe lasts. If we get caught out with grass length, you know that one of the big things about a cylinder mower is it's really good at cutting short grass shorter. If the grass gets away from you and becomes quite long, the front roller rolls down the grass before the cylinder can actually get chance to, uh, to grab it and cut it. So what we are able to do is optional extra, sorry, not optional extra, but included in the box is a pair of wheels. And these wheels uh, replace the roller so I can undo the screw on either side and just put the wheel kit on instead. And that just opens up the front entry of the machine so that the grass can go in. And if it's long, although it's not perfect because that's not what a cylinder mow is for, what it does allow you to do is just get back in control of the grass as well if you don't have a rotary mower. The cutting cylinder, of course, is the business end of this machine. With electric drive, the machine becomes so quiet 
that we felt that we needed to do something about getting much more accurate adjustment of the cylinder and bottom blade. And we've put in a new system which we call the shore blade. And the shore blade is going to give us a much flatter, much more easily adjustable cylinder to bottom blade. At the same time, give very little contact to make the machine quieter than ever before, but still give us the assurance of being able to cut paper or, of course, cut grass uh, as cleanly as we can for best plant health. So to remove the cylinder, uh, it's quite simple. And what you are able to see now is this much thicker, much more durable blade system, which allows us to have much less contact for much quieter mowing. Uh, but at the same time, this blade is going to be much less disturbed by sticks. I'm not going to say stones, but it's going to make this blade system much more durable, much more easy to set, and therefore much more quiet. And we think that this in the Sterling in particular is going to give us absolutely world beating product against all of our competitors. So that's the shore blade system. That gives us a very significant advantage over the competitors. The other thing which is absolutely critical for the lawn enthusiast that wants to be able to switch from mowing to different cartridges, it needs to be quicker and easier than we've ever had before. And that takes us down to the new Ultra Change system. Ultra Change, we just had to think of something that sounded quicker than our existing Quick Change system, and this is what it's all about. So the cartridges very simply drop into the machine and without any tools, I'm able to just lock that in. So if you want to give uh, me a bit of a test here, let's just do a time trial from taking that cylinder completely out and putting that back in again. Here we go. And we're ready to mow. The next feature on this product is about really accurate height of cut. And the height of cut is just adjusted on this hand wheel at the side, which lifts and lowers the front roller in the way that we've always done. But in particular, our customers have been asking for much more clear indication of our height of cut. And so on the scale at the side here, we have the one scale on this side, which gives us to the millimeter our height of cut when we have our cylinder in and then on the other side when we put our cultivation cartridges in it will show us what depth we're working at with those cartridges. So we call this the height right system and we really do believe your height will always be right. Mowing heights with the six bladed cylinder are adjustable minimum height of cut five millimeters that's just on the quarter of an inch to a maximum height of cut of 50 millimeters which is two inches. Cultivations, you can adjust down to 10 millimetres to give us this additional amount of cultivation if we choose to use it and the time is right. And that is of particular advantage when cultivating, trying to reduce some of our weeds. We're using the Ego 56 volt battery platform with the Sterling. Within the battery bay, there is a switch which just allows us to remove the battery from the battery bay. The battery comes in several different energy levels. The machine is intended to come with a five amp hour battery, but there are also seven and a half amp hour and 10 amp hour batteries that you can get for this machine. Their keep cool technology is particularly important to us, not only for working in warmer climates than, than in the UK, but also um, just because if you're working this machine really hard, then the battery needs to stay cool. That inserts into the battery bay just by clicking it in. And the other beauty with this battery system is that it has an indicator here. I can just press the button and I can see how full the battery is. But the nice thing about that is once it's in its location and I'm operating from the mower, my eye line looks directly at the battery indicator. And while the battery is being used, that indicator is constantly alight 
and I don't have to have separate dials on my machine. I'm just using each individual battery and its own inbuilt indicator so I know what the charge level is. The battery, of course, is all about sustainable lawns. Sustainability because there's no petrol, I don't have to go and fetch it in my car, I don't need to store it. There are issues in some uh, countries, uh, and particularly here in the UK, we're now using E10 fuel, and that definitely with its water absor absorption does create starting problems and even running problems. So we think that the E10 fuel introduction in small garden machinery uh, and small plant is actually uh, really pushing us all to the battery system. It's just going to give us such greater reliability and none of these starting problems that we now become quite used to. So sustainability, no fuel, uh, the system is just so much quieter, quieter than we've ever produced before. Uh, it's cheaper to run to go for a recharge on this battery than it is to be, uh, to be buying fuel. Uh, the alternative on electric, of course, is to have cables, which are always very difficult to manage, particularly in a bigger garden, so we don't have any of that. And uh, we can build in so much more control, and I'm going to talk about the control that we've built in when we get to the handlebars of the system. And electric as well is just so much better balanced that the handlebars aren't vibrating and causing problems with, uh, with our hands, whether it be vibration, white, white finger, or, or, or um, really causing our uh, arthritis to feel worse next day. At end of life, of course, us and our retailers are participating in battery take-back schemes as well. So you can just send this straight back to the people you bought this from and they'll process this battery in the way that's necessary. The charging of these batteries, a uh, standard charger for a 5 amp hour battery like this, will take about 100 minutes to recharge. There are also rapid chargers as well and the rapid charger will charge this in 40 to 50 minutes which is pretty much the time it takes to discharge the battery. Next I want to talk about the rear roller. So we've done some special work on the rear roller. Uh, normally on an electric drive system when you push or pull the roller, the mower, that it would be trying to drive the electric motor. And we wanted to make this machine so much easier and lighter to use that we've built in a really special drive system so that you're not having to drive that motor. And as you can see, it really is very easy. If there was resistance on that roller created by turning that motor as well, then it would be more likely to be scuffing the turf as we do that. Well, what advantage does that actually give us? What it means is, is that when I'm getting to the end of a run, I'm able to take my thumb off the drive button and actually just gently push the mower till I get to the end without having to crash into anything. When I get to the end of the row, I can also pull back the mower really easily in order to do a turn. And again, that just reduces the amount of scuffing that's going on as well. The, uh, the mower, of course, has all the normal advantages that we expect in the Allet rear roller. So we have a split rear roller on this 20 inch machine and on the 17 inch machine and both are able to turn separately. When I drive that, well, this is the beauty of an electric machine, I don't have to worry about any spillage of fuel here, that what I'm able to do is to get constant drive to the roller but what I am able to do is to not create scuffage as I turn around at the end, making sure that I'm not wearing the turf out when I'm mowing as regularly as I need to do to get the great lawn that I want. The other feature is that we've designed the roller so that it extends beyond the end plate. And that means that I can pull this up so easily where I've got curbs or edges or steps that I need to move the mower up that I can actually pull this up to the step and then just lift it up on the roller without having to pick up the whole mower. The handlebar controls on this machine as well uh, is taking comfort and control of the mower to brand new levels. To start with, I can adjust the heights uh, just simply by moving this lever to the highest and the lowest position. I'm also able to telescope the handlebars like so and I can clip those back off again. 
I particularly like the high position. What, I'm six foot tall and this is, if anything, high for me. But when I'm stood at this position with the mowing, then I can see the cylinder and I'm lining that up as well with my last run. So I, I am able to get much greater levels of overlap accuracy as well when I'm standing in this position. The handlebar angles and where I grip is so much more comfortable. My natural position for my hands is exactly how I grip this mower and my controls are all around uh, my, my hand position. Uh, to engage the cylinder, I press down this button in the middle, nice and big, even with gloves on, and pull the bail bar up. And that engages my cylinder drive. If I let everything go, then everything fails to safe and I get regen braking on the cylinder as well. So that locks off and stops very much more quickly than you would normally expect. My rear roller drive is actually incorporated into two buttons on the handlebar. The two buttons, so I can use either my left or my right hand. And again, even with gloves, these are very easy to engage. And just by pressing these buttons, engages my drive to go forward. More importantly, and when we talked about controllability of this mower, I've got forward speed control. And that is nice, big grip on this. And we're calling this the rotor shift system from Alit. And that allows me to either pre-select my speed from off all the way to maximum speed. Maximum speed on this machine is faster, and that is 3.5 miles an hour or 5.6 kilometers an hour. That is a good walking pace behind a mower, and it's unlikely you're gonna need that maximum speed, but it's there if you need it. You can slow down and speed up as you're mowing. So as you come into areas that are maybe more congested or more difficult to maneuver in, you can just slow the mower right down. And when you want to go back out into the open again and really get the pace up, you can adjust that, that, that uh, with, via the rotor shift, you can increase your speed. Uh, I can touch either of these, these buttons on either side. So even if it was my one hand was to get tired or if I want to control the mower with one hand rather than the other, I'm completely able to do that and do it really easily. When I put the mower handles into the top position, that actually stops the mower from working completely and I can't engage any drive. So let's call that the storage position. And what I'm also able to do is to be able to tip the mower back into a really solid position like this. And that allows me and gives me complete openness at the back here to be able to make any adjustments either to the rake, the roller or my blade adjustment so I can see exactly what's going on in here. Let's talk now about the range of cartridges we can fit in. Like I've said, to get a great lawn, you need to cylinder mow it, but there's more than that, and that's why we have this complete lawn care system all built into one. And each one of these cartridges does a slightly different job to give us different results depending on the time of year and what we want to achieve. The first and most popular cartridge is this spring tined cartridge here. We call this the Scarifier. The Scarifier, of course, drops in, changes over in 15 seconds or less uh, in this machine. And these gentle tines just rake out loose material and stand weed grasses and, and the grasses we want upright. Really versatile tool and also works really well at collecting leaves off the surface along with pine needles and to some extent pine cones and acorns, for instance, to keep our lawn nice and clean. The next cartridge is the vertical cartridge. This cartridge makes vertical cuts into the soil. And now that we can go deeper, the results we get are quite amazing with this. And it can, of course, be used for opening up a slot for overseeding as well, um, depending on what we're trying to achieve. But really a, a great cartridge. Uh, cutting stolons and rhizomes to get new growth in itself really keeps the lawn very healthy. A more aggressive cartridge, you can see these hooked blades. Uh, these hooked blades go into the soil and really fetch and remove thatch out of the surface.
We've got a new brush for the sterling. This brush is more dense and is great for when we have worm casts, removing and leveling out worm casts. It's also very good for incorporating top dressing into the soil, into the sward. And also on a cricket wicket, it's really great for leveling out as well because it's just that much more aggressive. It can be used on hard surfaces because now we, do, we can get the lower heights of cut as well. And we need to do some more work with that to find out actually exactly what we are able to do or not with that. We have an aerator cartridge as well. This cartridge is not driven, it doesn't have a pulley on the side and if you've got a particularly delicate thatch that if you were to use any of these cartridges until you get your lawn really healthy then you can use this aerator cartridge. It just rolls as you drive forward and that just puts a small amount of spikes into the surface to start to get that thatch layer to allow the water through um, and to start to reduce it so that we can then start to use more aggressive cartridges in themselves. And then finally, if I want a really fine cut then I can, and a low cut, then I can go for the 10 bladed cylinder. The 10 bladed cylinder now for the Sterling has the shore blade system, but we've feathered off this front edge to be able to get much lower. And now we can get down to three millimeters mowing height with this uh, system. And uh, uh, this is really good for greens and wickets or people who want to have a golf green in their, uh, in their backyard. So in conclusion, what does the Sterling offer now to the lawn enthusiast? This is an expensive machine, but what you're able to achieve with it is like nothing that there is available on the market for the price that this is. It's about the highest levels of accuracy. It's about the tools that you need that a greenkeeper or a groundsman has available to him. You now have available within your own lawn you are going to be able to take your lawn to a new level, but do it with greater levels of comfort, greater levels of control, variable speed, variable depth. We're very proud of this product and uh, we really hope that you can get to your garden machinery dealer and see one of these products in action. Thanks ever so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And you can get more information from our website at www allet.co.uk So I hope you enjoyed that product video. Uh, you'll see why we're so excited about this now. Uh, and what we're going to do now is go over to Sean Etherington who has been lead engineer on this product and has been living this product for the last two years. So over to Sean. Sean, thanks ever so much for joining us for this uh, launch video and we felt it was really important that we spoke to you about this because you are the father of this product as, as the, uh, the lead design engineer on it. Uh, one of the big things that customers are going to benefit from is the ultra change cartridge system. So I know you put a lot of work into that. Tell us what you think the customers are going to like about that. Well, I really hope it's well received because this is something that we targeted a long time ago and really focused on on the specification and brief in terms of simplicity and making it completely toolless. And the current system isn't, isn't a chore, but we just want it to make it that much easier so people are more likely to use our cartridge system and ultimately achieve that great lawn with the range of cartridges that are available. Sure. I, I've been using this now for several months and I just love the way that I can just choose to change over really quickly from mowing to verticutting even just a, a small area. I, That's right. I just think that the whole way that you can change that over so quickly is, is absolutely awesome. Yeah. Uh, the height of cut mechanism as well, I'm really loving that. Uh, yep. Tell us about that. Yeah, again we want to keep that as clean and as crisp as possible with ac accuracy at the, at the heart of the design really. Um, as well as simplicity and speed. That's I love the, dia the, the indication on it as well, so if I choose I'm going to drop down to 15mm, I can just choose 15mm, see it on the dial, instead of the old 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers that didn't mean anything. That's right. so I, I love the styling and it's so clear and compact as well. Yep. I, I am absolutely loving that. 
Uh, so the glide drive system, I think, yep. is absolutely amazing. And I, you don't even know it's there. You just know the mower just feels so much lighter as a result of having it there. Just tell us about the glide drive mechanism and what it gives. Yes, it's a, it's, it's a really complex, clever little mechanism, actually, which allows the motor to overrun as the user is pushing and pulling, which is obviously great for turning corners, manoeuvring, pulling out the shed, small things that we don't necessarily think about all the time but it's just so obvious when you're using the machine yeah the, the glide drive for me is especially in large areas where it's just pushing and pulling so easily it's about fatigue but but i think also in the small areas that, that i can use a 20 inch machine in quite a small area but because it's so easy to pull around I, i'm not in danger of slipping over when i'm pulling it back that, that i think that really is something that yeah. customers won't even know that it's happening it's just easy to use so I think that, yep. that is a real testament to a, to a beautiful design feature. Okay. So talk to me about the styling a little bit as well, because it looks fantastic and it looks the part. Tell me, what were you thinking about? Well, we just thought with this product, it's a really good opportunity to just freshen up the, the brand and try and keep the traditional values as well. We've got the lovely Ego battery as a, as a great datum in this and we just try to keep it as robust and as fresh looking as, as, as possible, which is actually quite a, quite a challenge. Um, it's been through a few iterations, this, this product now, and uh, hopefully we've got something that uh, the customers we're, will be happy we're with. We're loving the look of it. I think you've kept the essence of a traditional cylinder mower, but at the same time, it has a really modern, purposeful feel as well to it. I, I think you really have captured that so beautifully. It, it really does look yeah. great. So uh, finally, um, of course, you've, you're getting into your lawn as well, and uh, I understand that you took one of these machines home with a cultivation cartridge in to do something this autumn. So I did. Uh, tell us what you used and, and how did that go for you? Um, well, it's, yeah, it's quite an adventure. I thought, uh, I've, I've worked in the lawn industry for sort of 15 years now, and I thought it's finally time to have a, a dabble into lawn renovation. And uh, yes, I took the machine home with a suite of cartridges completely scalped, scarified, raked, overseed, levelled the lawn. I'm really glad that you're using the products as well and you understand the, the features. Yeah, I think it's important well. to uh, it, understand really what a customer important. wants and uh, get that user perspective. Yeah, good. Sean, the, the grass collector uh, is quite a new innovation for us. We've never designed a grass collector like that before. Talk us through your thought processes when you were designing that and why you've done it in this way. Yeah, of course. Um, we've obviously gone for a steel frame wire mesh concept, um, something we thought about for a long time. It's, as you say, it's quite a step away from the large moulded boxes we have at the minute. Uh, as you can see, it's very lightweight. Um, it locates simply on these two little lugs here. We've got a large, lovely aperture here for all the clippings to throw through, which gives the user great visibility. Uh, obviously empties nicely. Performance-wise, uh, we believe this mesh actually helps with the airflow generated by the cartridges, really throwing all the fill to the back of the box. And I think it looks quite fresh. It, it looks great, and I, I have to say that one of the things that I really love in a mower is when it fills the grass box right full, and I think yeah, all yeah. the combination of all those things you've said it fills it right up, so That's it's right. less trips to the wheelie bin to empty out, which, is, which of course is what we want when we're in a hurry. So it yeah. looks great. And, and it's, it is unconventional, but I think all of those benefits you've got are really, you've encapsulated them all in that design, so yeah. good. Okay. Sean, thanks ever so much for talking uh, to us, and it's really great to get your perspective on, on the product. I know you've been working on this for two years, sort of night and day, and uh, yeah. I know the sleep of nights involved when you're a, a design engineer, so thanks ever so much, you've done a really great job. I've really enjoyed, enjoyed using the product myself, and I, I'm really hoping the customers are going to pick that up too. Thank thanks you. ever so much. Fantastic. Right, thanks for that, that's really interesting. Um, now what we're going to go to is a short interview. We use uh, our trusted uh, customers that we know are going to give these products a hard time and really look at the detail. And we've had these products with uh, our pioneer uh, customers. Uh, they look at the product and use it and try and break it so that we make sure that by the time we get to launch that we have the features exactly as we want them and that they're reliable. So this is a, a quick in interview with Mark Marshall. Mark has a business called Lawn Stripes and Hedges in Macclesfield in England. Uh, he started a business 
that was really focused on using electric products for garden maintenance. And as his company name uh, uh, describes, lawn stripes are the things that he delivers for his customers. Uh, he's been using an Allet Liberty, so he's been really great to take one of these uh, uh, Sterling 43s and let's see what he thought about that. Today we've come to Cheshire to see Mark Marshall and his business Lawn Stripes and Hedges. Mark's been testing the Sterling product range for us before we go to launch uh, to see whether it does everything we want it to do and to see whether it's going to last. Hi, I'm Mark Marshall from Lawn Stripes and Hedges. Uh, I'm an eco-friendly um, garden maintenance company in Cheshire. Mark, Lawn Stripes and Hedges has a really unusual proposition and that is an all-electric machinery uh, deal for your customers. Tell us what your customers think about that. So when I first started out, um, a lot of them were surprised. Um, when I first got my electric tools out, they were like, oh, do you not, do you not need um, an extension lead? I said, oh, no, they're, they're battery powered. Um, and then once it kind of started going, I had customers ringing me. Um, I, I had two literally ladies around the corner of here rang me because I, I'm eco-friendly because I use batteries so um, from the customer's perspective a, a good feedback a lot of them were surprised and from like um, people in the industry they was like very doubtful of they telling me oh you shouldn't do that you'd be wasting your time but um, I've used um, battery powered stuff for 24 months now and I don't think I'd well I would never go back back to uh, like a petrol um, machine. And Mark, I bet your customers are really enjoying the quietness of the electric products. It was more um, in the summer. Um, in the summer, I used the, the Liberty quite a lot where, because I could get out early in the morning at seven, um, get my day done quite early and then spend time with the family. So um, from a, f like a, a general day-to-day -day use, it, it worked out very beneficial for me, really. And Mark, you were talking earlier about your vans and what you're going to be doing about that. My, my, my main goal is to, is to have 10 vans on the road, all eco-friendly, all doing garden maintenance, all doing lawn care. Um, just because there's, there's no one really in my industry that are fully eco-friendly. So that's kind of what made me push towards it as well as like it's, it's great for the environment. And with everything going on in the world at, at the minute, I think it's, it's my time. Well, not just mine, I think it's everybody's uh, you know, job to kind of strive to be a bit a little better really. Mark, we really agree with you and your, your vision for your business. It, it's absolutely great to hear that you've got such a, a firm uh, idea of what your, your vision is for your business going forward. So what we've done with you, Mark, is we know that you use machinery really hard. You use it for your living. And uh, so we thought you would be absolutely ideal to take one of these Electric Liberty products before we go to launch and you can give it a really good hard time, see if you can break it. And also we wanna hear from you what sort of uh, ideas you have about how good the product is and if there's any areas of improvement before we go to launch. Um, when, when I first, when I first obviously asked me to trial it, in regards to like cutting the grass, I know that's your bread and butter. So I was very, had high hopes um, of going into using it as this, the normal general cutting cartridge. Um, what really surprised me was the different cartridges and the new way of getting them off so quick. Um, it made my job so much easier and it actually changed my perspective of the actual mower itself because I went into it, sh I should have gone into it with an open head, but I've gone into it thinking, oh, it's you know the scarifying cartridge isn't going to be any good or you know the the brush isn't going to be any good or the dethatch is not going to be any good but when i actually run it against my other machines it actually did if a little bit better than them to be honest um, which surprised me yeah and i really love the way that these machines collect so well it's just so much less clearing up afterwards it's it's so obviously when it's all when it's done and it's fully fully developed I won't need to carry my scarifier with me, so that takes up like a, the size of a lawnmower uh, in my van. Um, and all the other, for how small them little cartridges are, you kind of just need one mower to do to do the job. So it makes it um, just a lot, lot better for me, really. Uh, lawn stripes are obviously really important to your business. You've even included lawn stripes in the name of your business. And 
your customers, these are amazing and beautiful homes that you're maintaining here in Presbury uh, near, near Macclesfield. But we also want to know about what you think about the cartridges. The Ultra Change cartridge changed so very quickly now. How are you going to be using these? Yeah, it takes five seconds to swap to swap them over. Um, so for for me, it's you literally it's it's can't really put a price on it. Obviously, there's going to be a price in it, but for how quick it makes my day go, you can't put a price on that because although the machine might cost a little bit more than what it would a petrol machine, in in reality, you've got five six machines there for one machine. So my scarifier would cost me fifteen hundred quid to to buy, whereas you know, if I get the cartridge for this, whatever it may be, it's still not going to be that much. So, you, although yes, it may be a little bit more. When you add them up, it's five machines. So, if you bought five separate machines, you'd be talking nearly ten thousand pounds. So, it's it's good, really. And you've got to fit all these into your van as well. Yeah, and I, I mean, I've got I've got a few vans, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'd need twenty for every single machine. Yeah. And how are you going to fit all these cartridges into your van? Um, I've already got a setup, so when you open my van, they're on. They're all. You can get five cartridges per per side. Um, one side because the other side I've got storage, so I can get five and two on the other. So, um, you know, you're not always going to use them cartridges every day. But um, what I was mentioning before, I went to a job and I thought, oh, I could do with giving this a light scarification, um, and I didn't have the cartridge because I had my other van being sign written. So it. it it annoyed me because I thought, well, I wish I would have had that cartridge now because it would have been nice to have it there and then. And do you have a favourite cartridge? Yes, um, the De Thatcher. Um, I run, the reason it's my favourite is because I run it against my petrol scarifier. Um, and it, apart from the few little niggly things what, what I spoke about, it's, it's much, much better, um, which surprised me. And I thought it would not do, it would not do the task what my other one did, but it did really. And even just talking to you before the interview started, you must have given us 10 new ideas for cartridges. So this is really good for us when you're testing products. Uh, it gives us some great ideas for future products. And the Scarifier cartridge is the favorite of our customers. Uh, did you use that one as well? Yeah, I've used that. I liked it. What, what I really like about it is, um, you know, moss in everybody's gardens are a constant battle. Um, and I do a lot of my either renovations at the end of the year or the start of the year. But the ones that I do, um, like this one at the start of the year, I wouldn't really want to go and run my big um, petrol scarifier over it. So with that scarifier, it just completely eradicates that. So I can go over this lawn once a month if I need to, just to keep on top of, of stuff like the moss and thatch build up. So um, yeah, I can, see, I can certainly see why it is people's favourite. And the new handlebars, Mark, what did you think of those? Um, I, lo I love the fact how sh t well together it feels. So I use a variety of different of, of manufacturers and um, that's the first mower that I felt that feels like it could last forever. Um, and I, I've got some other expensive um, brands as well, but it just doesn't feel, it feels solid. And I like the rotor shift feature on the handlebars as well, where I can change the speed on the move. Uh, I, I like it particularly because I can change the speed and go really slowly when I'm using the cultivation cartridges. Yeah, no, I, I love that as well. I love the fact because some, I love it because I, I, you scarify and you cut at different kind of speeds. So it's just easy, the fact that it's just on the handlebar just to, just to change, which is really good. And the height right system, Mark, that's the, the height of cut adjustment system. You'll be adjusting the height of cut really regularly, switching from mowing and back to cultivations now that that's so easy. Uh, what do you think of that? Um, really like it. Um, I would probably have it as quick as your release cartridge, so maybe a handle that you can move it. Um, but it's much faster than the Libita. Um, yeah, it's, um, it is really good. Because when you're scarifying, it, it's quick because if you go if you're too high you need to drop it it's that easy to use but if you had like a, a handle like you did on the other side it'd make it much quicker um, than using the roller but i don't know how, how accurate it'd be on that, on that sense as well and the grass collector we've gone away from our normal plastic molded system what do you think of that and do you think it's going to be durable durable enough for somebody that uses the machine as hard as you do 
Yeah, def definitely. The, the style of it is much better. It's much more eco-friendly because it's not plastic. Um, so I, I'm, I'm all for that. I would make it a little bit bigger for someone in my trade, um, but for, for like a general home owner, it's, it's, it's brilliant really. Mark, a lot of our customers are petrol engine users and they are a little bit reluctant to go over to battery. Uh, you're talking about a vision of 10 vans, 10 teams of people. That's going to mean a lot of batteries. D tell me how you're going to work with that. I had the, the, the same kind of opinion when I went into it, but f for me, the environment, although it is, sounds really corny, it means a lot more to me than, than the difficulties of going forward with battery. So right now, is petrol better than battery? Me personally, no. And I know you have like difficulties with charging, but um, I have a setup in my van. So when I back my van up to my house, plug it in and it charges all my batteries. Um, batteries, yes, they're expensive, um, but when you take into consideration, I don't need to service it, the engine, and not going to have a problem with if I'm on the job, the, you know, the engine might go or you might have issues with it, spillages on customers' lawns if the engine was to go. So all the problems that petrol have, it goes away then when you go into the into the battery side of things you know I don't have to get up in the morning and travel to a petrol station make sure that I've got a jerry can full of fuel in my van or um, and then if the jerry can spills in my van I've not got all them issues that I once had uh, has completely gone now so um, it, it, it's not where it needs to be in regards to right now but I'd rather be in the movement of actually trying and, and be that person that says you know what I don't want to have to change in 10 years time because the government are making a change I'd rather say well I'm already there and let other you know people catch up so I'd rather be ahead of the game and behind it as they say. With, with, um, with my customers they, um, I think for them it's just it's a, bit, it's a little bit like fresh it's very fresh for the customer because it's not you're not using any any chemicals in the garden um, I am fully like eco-friendly in regards to my tools and my fertilizers I try to keep everything as as organic as possible um, so the customers side of things they're just I think they're just happy someone's actually trying and when you've got a lot of customers like that, that have that have um, uh, whether they're elderly or the you know a new customer if they've got someone in the garden that cares about the environment they're going to care about the garden and they're going to they're going to be a bit more respectable in, in that sense rather than the, turn it up flying through everything with a petrol mower or whatever it may be. Um, so I think it's just very fresh for the customer. So we can find you on Instagram? Yeah, so I'm on Instagram, Facebook. Um, I've just won uh, top three landscapers in Cheshire, uh, which I got yesterday, which is great. Um, again, that's just because of, of the vision that I'm trying to succeed in, so, which, is, uh, which is good. That's great. We're really proud to be associated with you, Mark, your, your business and your sustainable vision. We, we really align on, on what it is that you want to achieve. And th thanks so much for giving the machine a, a really good try and for giving us all your really candid uh, opinions on the Sterling. Uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, it's, um, it, like I say, I, I spoke to you at the start of the year and I was I wanted this machine before it had even come out. So like in my head, I was like, well, I want the Alec, uh, but uh, the Liberty, sorry, but I want to use it every day. Uh, and I did try. And uh, although the Liberty is a, an amazing mower for my own garden, um, I needed something that was a bit more robust and um, they didn't make one. So the fact that you've picked some thoughts out of my head and, and made it, it's just brilliant for me. That's really great, Mark. Uh, thanks ever so much. We're going to let you get on now and earn your living and we're going to watch you do a bit of uh, grass cutting and scarifying. Thanks again and good luck with the business. Thanks Mark, thanks for testing that and for all the feedback that we got from you as well to help make sure that this product was going to be as good as it is. Thanks for watching this video. It's really important to us. Uh, you can watch this, the product video that you saw earlier. Uh, please tell your friends and send links to that video so that uh, we can share this news with more people. Tomorrow we're going to be at the Soltech show. Uh, we've also got a slot, a 15 minute slot, where we're going to be in the Eco Village, which is an initiative that uh, Soltechs have to 
show and push uh, environmentally friendly products. So we'll be doing presentations at 12.30 both tomorrow and the following day uh, to talk through these products. So if you are at the Soltech show, please make sure that you come along and see us. Uh, as of tomorrow, you're going to be able to buy these products either from our website or you can, of course, go to your local dealer or you can go to your national distributor. You can find the details of all of those people that, uh, if you go to our website, go to the bottom of the page and it says Global Dealer Locator. Uh, we are limited in the production of these machines. We are only making 500 of these machines next year. So it is going to be limited availability, uh, but please push ahead if you uh, decide that you want one of those. Wouldn't these make a great Christmas present for somebody? And uh, thanks ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you at the Soltech show tomorrow.